Well, when we don't have a pandemic, there are normally a lot of parades this time of year. For instance, what do you call it when a bunch of men walk a mile wearing women's shoes? No, not a girls track team under the Biden administration. That's not what it is. <laughs> it's an annual event. It's held nationwide and it's called Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. It's actually pretty serious. It raises awareness and money to fight sexual violence. And it's also to help men empathize with what women have to endure. Foolhardy men uh, put on women's high heels and they walk a mile. Frankly, I'm amazed they'd make it one yard. Yeah. Now, no stilettos are allowed or else the men might stab themselves to death just to make the pain stop. Pretty sure they would. Women could do this easily, of course. Ginger Rogers could have done it backwards. Oh, yeah. But this whole experience teaches men to respect women and to despise women's shoe designers. That's what they will do. There you go. Now, next time one of these events is in your neighborhood, consider giving your support and your arch support, There too. you go. Hey, now, I'll, I'll chip in $100. You chip in $100. If and Trey, Trey will do it. Trey will have to do it because neither you nor I would ever be able to wear <laughs> no. those women's shoes, I don't think. That's they don't make them in size 13. That's right. Have you ever seen a woman with a size 13 foot? Nope. Don't that's the deal. So. Okay, there you go. So that's why I can't do it. Trey, you ready? Do I have to tell about the time I wore high heels? I'd rather you not. Thank Let's you. just leave that alone <laughs> for another day. Well, Club Getaway, a resort in Kent, Connecticut, used Memorial Day weekend to make up for 10. Got that 10 holiday celebrations that got canceled back in 2020. All in one weekend, they are hosting a New Year's Eve countdown, a Valentine party, a Mardi Gras bash, a St. Patrick's Day pub hike, an Easter egg hunt, a 4th of July barbecue, a frightfully, frightfully fast Halloween dance, and a Thanksgiving dinner, and an ugly sweater party for Chrismaka, which Ooh. is Christmas and Hanukkah all jammed together. And a partridge and a pear tree. Well, they didn't have eight days for Hanukkah, so they just got eight minutes. Now, it is a whole year's worth of overeating and hangovers in one weekend, which is kind of like regular Mardi Gras. Uh, <laughs> so here is a tip. Don't go to the Thanksgiving dinner first, because then you'll sleep through the other nine holidays. That's it. You know, thinking back on all the holidays that we did miss in 2020, I kind of wish we'd have skipped Election Day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Memorial Day weekend is the start of barbecue season, so a Husky, North Carolina, is hosting its traditional whole hog barbecue competition. Now, they mean that literally. They dig a big old pit, then they bury and smoke a whole hog in it. Now, if you can polish that off, you are a whole hog. Boy, that was good. Think of the size of the bun that that must come on. Yeah. Huh? Anyway, this will never catch on in Texas. I mean, imagine digging a hole big enough to smoke an entire steer. <laughs> Ooh. By the way, I once attended a vegan Thanksgiving where they buried a tofurkey in a <laughs> hole. No, that's not. But you know what? Nobody wanted to dig it back up. That's the difference. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> Locals brag that this part of North Carolina is where American barbecue had its start and where hogs came to have their end. That's what happened there. Well, you might think that to have a picnic, you just pack a blanket and some sandwiches. Hmm. These days, even picnics are delivered. You can hire a new luxury picnic service in Bryant College Station, Texas, called Ready, Set, Picnic. And then you just show up in the park or wherever, and a fancy picnic is waiting for you. Wow. Get this, depending on how much you pay, your picnic can include seating pads, silverware, tablecloths, candles, placemats, floral arrangements, and more. Ants? Well, you can get that. You can also actually get your choice of ants. You can get black, <laughs> red, or fire ants, actually. Yeah. Such a deal. But, but you can really call it a picnic if it's fancier than your wedding reception? Not sure. Anyway, to me, at a picnic, fancy eating utensils means I wipe my hands on my jeans yeah, first, absolutely. right? And a floral arrangement, it's poison ivy. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, here in America, the only unwelcome visitors that show up and ruin our picnics are ants. Well, ants and Aunt Tifa, right? Oh, yeah. Got Aunt that? Tifa, yeah. 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 But in Singapore, picnics can be a little hairier. This family was having a picnic in the park. 
Their young children ran screaming when a monkey suddenly ran up, stole a Tupperware container oh. full of grapes, and carried it up in a tree. Whoa! But then the monkey had trouble figuring out how to open the Tupperware. You see, Tupperware really does protect your leftovers. There you got it. <laughs> we discovered that in some places, monkeys are a fairly common problem at picnics. We found reports of monkeys stealing a cup of noodles, a glass of iced tea, and a can of Red Bull. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, that, I'm telling you that's bad because Red Bull gives you wings. Uh -huh. And we... Yeah, we've all seen The Wizard of Oz. Folks, yeah. we don't want monkeys with wings, that's right? That's what, yeah. That's, no. remember that? Yeah, I do. Scared okay. Me to death as a kid. But there are some party animals even ruder than monkeys. This man was out on his boat, as many of us will be this weekend. He was feeding fish to some seabirds when a sea lion smelled free food and decided to crash the party. Look at that. Then it dived face first into the buffet and did not leave a scrap for anyone else. <laughs> Just like some party guests that I have known, uh, Keith. Yeah. And this is why you don't want to order that fancy sushi picnic. No. Well, boys and gulls, catch that one? I caught okay, it. all right. I didn't write this particular line here. Well, boys and gulls, I hope those fish stories made your long holiday weekend seem just a little longer. But until next time, always remember, we read the news. So you don't have to. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.